Well, you might be saying to yourself, what the heck is this? So there's good news after this slide one. There's only three more slides. They're all on growth and decay. Two, just do substitution. We're not going to get into great detail with this. The course is wrapping up. Just need to know how to substitute to understand this growth, growth and decay. In future courses, you'll probably do more with logs and exponentials, but not right now. Couple of key things. This looks like a lot of crazy letters. Y zero, which is why not we call it. You got this E, we got this K, you got this T. Okay. Follow on. This here is your initial amount. So when you start something, when you start anything, it's the initial amount, right? So it might be the number of uh, viruses in a petri dish, right? You may start having an initial amount, okay? So time would be zero just starting. T is time. How much time has passed, right? Well, it's your initial amount, time is zero, but over time it grows or it decays, okay? E, well, that's your 2.7 whatever. That's your constant that we just talked about last slide, okay? So that doesn't change and you actually have a calculator button with an E. So you don't have to worry too much about that, okay? And K, and let's use a different color for K actually here. No, we use green. K is your growth or decay constant. Your growth or decay constant. So it's a number that you're given. Again, this kind of looks crazy. Okay, when you get into the next uh, slide, which is an application, I'm just going to flip to it here. Okay, uh, you will see that this number, this initial amount, is given. Okay, the e is given. All you have to do is kind of substitute in and figure it out. So what is this? Why? What is that? I'll step back. Give you a second. So why that is the amount after a length of time. Okay. The amount after a length of time. So what happens? You have one, two, three, four time possible variables, E never changes. You have to be given everything but one. And then when you do that substitution, you'll be able to figure it out, okay? Check through the next three slides. I think it's gonna make sense to you. I know this looks a little crazy. Think substitution for the next three slides and you'll be in good shape.